shrink effect and how you can use it in After Effects. In this video I will be using a PSD file with the footage that you can download for free via the link in the description below. Make sure that you choose the editable layer styles and the composition with retained layer sizes. We will be using a 920 times 1080 3 seconds 24 fps. Go ahead and double click the shrink effect composition, then hit Ctrl T to get up the text tool, and we will write healthy habits. Hit V to be able to move around the text, then Ctrl Alt Home to center the anchor point, and let's align it in the middle vertically. Next, hold Ctrl plus Alt while pressing Y and you will get up an adjustment layer or just right click in the project panel and press new. Mark the layer, hit enter and we will change the name to shrink in and then move down the adjustment layer of shrink in just below the text layer, healthy habits. Next go to effects and presets, and search for shrink and we will apply the first effect to shrink in to the adjustment layer Let's go forward a little bit in the timeline so we can see it and we will change the duration slider to 0 0.5 then unmark all the layers and we will create a shape layer by pressing the pen tool and first press at the end of habits the s then press somewhere in the middle between healthy habits and the bowl of food and to be able to curve the line a bit hold and drag at the same time continue through the bowl through the dumbbell and move down against the bed and let's drag it all the way down to the beginning of the chin then go into the shape layer contents and shape one and you want to go into the stroke one change the butt cap to round cap next go to dashes and hit the plus and we will drag up the dash to roughly 50 51 Go down to the wave and drag up the amount to 100% and the wavelength we will change to 200. Let's go up again and go to contents and add and choose the trim path. Then go down to trim path. Move the cursor to the beginning and as we can't see it now let's go down to the shrink in the adjustment layer and unmark the FX and go down again to trim path 1 and we will create a keyframe in the beginning of the timeline for start and this will be at 0% move forward a little bit in the timeline and create a new keyframe for end also at 0% let's move forward to about 1 second in the timeline we we'll create the next keyframe at 100% for the start then let's move forward a little bit and create a new keyframe here that will be 0% again. Move forward to about 2 seconds and for start we create a keyframe for 100% and create the last keyframe for end at 100%. And if you like you can also ease these keyframes by hitting F9 but that will keep them linear within this animation. Let's close up some layers and we mark them all by hitting Ctrl A then hit U to be able to collapse all the layers then let's move forward a little bit in the timeline just about where the dotted line reached the first icon then drag in the layer or you can hold Alt and hit 9 move forward again until the line reached the dumbbell the next icon drag in the layer move forward again the bed and drag that layer in as well then we go forward a little bit again just about where the line meet chin to drag in the light bulb layer to the cursor move forward with the cursor to just about where the dotted line passes the first icon then mark that layer and go into effects and presets again Go for the shrink out and drag it to the food layer and then we will drag in the end of the layer so it shrinks out just about where the end of the dotted line is at the beginning 
of the next icon, the dumbbell. Let's go to the next layer and repeat the same thing. Also by dragging in the end of the layer. So the dumbbell shrinks out just about where the end of the dotted line meets the bed. And finally do it again with the bed while the dotted line just about reaching the, the chin of the man. Let's do some adjustment to the light bulb layer and we drag in the end of the layer to about half a second in. Go to effects presets again and drag and drop the shrink out effect to the light bulb. And we do the same for the head. Then go to the adjustment layer, the shrink in and apply the FX to be able to see the animation. Then go back and forward a little bit to see how it looks like. And the plan is that the dotted line should go from the healthy habits, get fuel from the icons, and finally deliver it to the man and sparking up the light bulb and his IDs. And as soon as it stops, the light bulb should shrink out. Once we have this in place, let's mark the layer of healthy habits, the text layer, and we can just double click the effect of shrink out to apply it and drag in the end of the layer. So it shrinks out just about where the dotted line hit the icon of the food. Go back and forward a little bit again and see how it looks like. And perhaps we want to adjust the light bulb and head a little bit. So we go to the duration slider and change both of them to 0 0.5. Hit spacebar and this is your final animation.